all right folks another unboxing video so this comes from Rosewell and this is the uh, FBM-01 computer case desktop and uh, this should be a uh, what is it mini tower micro tower um, usually I, I try and buy the uh, the mid towers but uh, sometimes I buy these just because they're they're not too expensive sometimes um, when I say not too expensive $22.99, $23.99, somewhere in there is probably what I paid for this. I may have got it cheaper. Um, so that, you know, when I build one of these computers for uh, resale, uh, you know, not a bad deal. Uh, if you can keep some of your costs down and somebody actually will buy it. Um, all right, so we're probably going to have to set the camera down while I pull this out of here. This is not going to be easy. First nut. Never easy, folks. Alright, let's try it this way. I may have to cut the, uh, the other end of the box. Come on, get out there. <sighs> Alright, I give up. Guess what we're going to do? We're going to have to cut the top off. Push this thing out here. I promise I'm not trying to drag this out. on something. Then we'll go out the other side. Yep. <laughs> Whoops, we might have a few dents in it. Uh, okay, all right. Whew. So I gotta say, thank God they put styrofoam on these things. So that actually uh, took me a little while longer than I thought. So if you know me, we've got tons of computers we're working on at any one time. And uh, we have taken a look at just about all of the, uh, the super cheap Rosewell cases. Eventually we'll move on to other manufacturers. Let's take that off. All right, so got a good button there on the front, it looks like. And uh, this one, you know, one reason it's so cheap. Um, those are just USB uh, 2.0s there. So there isn't one on the side. So this is, uh, you know, kind of a case that sucks, to be honest with you. Um, why somebody would want to buy this, all right? You know why I bought it. Take a look at it, review it. So it does, you know, the front looks attractive for a cheap case. And uh, this has uh, actually got some bonuses in it for what I paid for it. So I'll have to put a motherboard in here, but I believe you'll be able to get a really long motherboard in here. So let's, let's grab one real quick, see what we can get in there. So I've got all kinds of toys here. So this is a really long one. This is a uh, not a 780 Ti, but uh, GTX 970. So look at that, folks. You can fit. You can actually fit that in there. So this gets a uh, high score uh, for that alone. All right, that alone is a bonus. Um, got two fans in here, two cheap Rosewell fans. I don't believe either one of them light up. There's a second one. Of course, these 
we'll pop those out and we'll put a video card in here. Um, it's the standard cables that you would expect um, if you've done enough builds, you know what I'm talking about. Usually I tell you what these are, but it's, uh, you know, hopefully you can see from the picture. So, alright, so we've got the two fans. We've got places for drives, hard drives. This guy is uh, actually not that bad. I, I tell you, I wish I could rip these out. They're riveted together, though. Rip them out and put them in some of my bigger cases that don't come with this stuff. Or rip some of the crap that's in the bigger cases and replace it with these. Um, but uh, the other side does uh, does remove, so let's take that off as well. And I'll try and I'll try and do some uh, flybys for y'all so you can you can really get up and close and personal with this. And I'm not sure, uh, to be honest with you, what what computer I'm going to slap together with this. But obviously, it would be a micro ATX um, motherboard. So there's that side. So obviously, be able to route some cables through here. And uh, let's just get real close to everything so you can see it. it does you know it does look to be well built? Um, it is lacking some features, which makes it cheap. You can obviously uh, remove this and buy that uh, piece that will give you uh, 3.0s and uh, micro card reader and all that stuff. So, but yeah, that's uh, that's the case, folks. Not too bad, uh, as you can see. Like I said, there's one thing I forgot to note, but you could probably see it. There's your hardware that you'll need. Um, and let's go ahead and take a look at the user manual while we've got a chance. And before I forget, so there's the cover. And there's the hardware. Um, actually, it looks like there's more hardware in there than that, but uh, PC speaker to make a beep. Um, so, oh, this actually tells you the size for five and a quarter device floppy and three and a half. Screw B, but doesn't tell you the, doesn't actually tell you the size. So, all right, so there's that, and it tells you about unscrewing everything and popping those things off, yada, yada, yada. So the front case will come off, so you can put your, um, you can put a CD-ROM in there if you wanted to, DVD player, or whatever, um, or that device I was just talking about. And uh, too bad it's not easy to just replace the 2.0s with 3.0s, but hey, thanks for checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.